Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back to another episode of the Columbian Space Initiative, not to be confused with the other CSI. But anyway, let's keep on going. We did start building one of the bigger industrial goods uh, factories here, but it's still going to take a while. Now, we do have 14 million. We'll probably give it another 10 days, or we'll just wait for until we reach, I don't know, 20 to 25 million and keep it going for a bit longer. But as soon as we get that constructed, it should help a fair bit in our production. Not necessarily much in terms of selling the goods. Actually, we'll lower the minimum price to about 900. Because that's probably going to be... I mean, I'm assuming that eventually the price will go up, especially if someone declares war. The volatility of the world is on low, so it's not necessarily particularly likely. There are sh sh most likely some nations that will declare some wars. But anyway, so far we are slowly increasing our productions here. We still do have a bit of a demand for consumer goods there, or the industrial goods for consumer goods production. At some point we do need to increase this because uh, consumer goods seems to be very valuable export. Oil, oh wow, oil production has gone down, the price that is. Do we still, oh wow, we've got a lot of oil that needs to be sold. We may be flooding the market a little bit here. But this will give us some money, and actually, with that amount of money, we can start constructing this again. Hopefully we can reach, I don't know, 50 days left. I mean, it is 80 days total, so we still have quite a bit to go, but hey, we'll start it at least. Uh, oh wow, we're actually making money while building, which means that we're probably just selling a lot of oil. But hey, I'm okay with that. So assuming that we can get this completed, well, I mean, I'm sure that we'll get it completed today, I'm just not entirely sure when exactly. Now, how is our domestic approval rating doing? 25.8, so it's not too bad. I'm sure that if we lower some taxes for the election season, we'll be able to get the money. And at some point, we do actually want to lower the taxes permanently, but right now, we can't quite afford it yet. We've got so many expenditures that need to be taken care of. Big expenditure is, of course, the construction. At some point, we do want to increase the spending for our research as well. But right now, I don't think we can quite afford it. Not for long term, anyway. Okay, so currently at 55 days remaining, we might be able to reach 40. Maybe, although I'm not entirely sure. We've still got 2.6 million units of uh, oil here, or barrels of oil, that we could be selling... Apparently, just just not enough demand for it. But the question is, I mean, we are making at least a little bit of money. You know what? Let me switch this to be like 150% of demand. That should, in theory, release some workforce. Although the unemployment seems to be still pretty high. There is... Oh, yeah, it's actually not necessarily having the effect that I hope it would. So how about, how many do we have of these iron mines? I'm going to get rid of these two. Scrap that one. And scrap that one. We can rebuild them later if need be. Also, we may want to pause this for the time being. We got to 42 days. Now we'll accumulate a little bit more money. And secondly, while we are getting rid of some of the mines there, that should relieve a little bit of the workforce. Although technically they probably weren't working Properly, and we could turn them offline, but I don't. In my experience, it doesn't necessarily have uh, as much an effect for the workforce available. We have pretty good credit rating. We got rather massive inflation, 12.8 percent right now. So we don't want to get that any higher right now. The GDP per capita is now 175. So it's slowly growing, very slowly that is. But hey, it is growing. And our cash is also accumulating quite nicely there, so in, I don't know, by the end of the month we can probably keep on constructing again. So we got almost halfway done with the construction. Uh, so it's still going to take a while, but hey, we'll, we'll get it done. I'm actually going to turn these offline, just, just test if it has an effect on the unemployment. I don't think it's going to have. Also, how's the population growing? The estimation is that it will be growing by, let's see, by 24,000 per year, so not a lot. 
I'm sure that we're going to improve that a little bit. Ooh, we're actually getting money right now, not only from trade, but also from the taxes e expenditures and all that. I mean, another thing I suppose that I could do is increase the oil domestic price a tiny bit. It's going to lower the demand, of course, for it, but that's all right. Oh wow, the metal production price is massive compared to the market price. I mean, I suppose the market price may have just plummeted because there's not enough demand for it. Now, to be fair, we're probably going to be one of the most, or the biggest um, economies later on, at least on our continent. I'm not entirely sure if uh, we'll be able to rival any of the bigger nations, depending on how the war starts, if they start. I mean, it's already 1915 and I don't think there's any wars going on right now. Because I did start on the Brinksmanship, so it's a bit... Um, there's no certain war that will happen, but it's always possible that there's going to be some wars somewhere down the line. At the same time, if there's no war, then the economy should be alright. Although there's not going to be a lot of demand for military goods, but we will need some military goods ourselves. And actually the production price is rather high, the market price is basically nothing. Same with industrial goods. So technically the industrial goods factory that we are making over here is not necessarily the best idea. You know what, let me actually get rid of some more of the medium ones here. Scrap another two. We don't need a massive production, but if we get rid of some of those, that's going to improve the... Okay, unemployment is now 3.1. It's still pretty low, a bit too low in fact. We've got 30 million though, so let's uh, continue the construction here, shall we? How long is it going to take? It's currently 40 days, 39. I think we can get about 20 days away from actually completing it with this current cash. Once we get this, we'll save up a little bit of cash for buying more tax from the United States. There's at least a few things that I do want from them. Of course, we may need to gather up quite a bit of money to actually get them. That shouldn't really be an issue. Now, is the... Okay, the production cost is still 20 over there. There's 3 for the petroleum. And I think the petroleum price has actually dropped quite a bit. Are we in the... We are in the exporters, not really in the top exporters. Right now, anyway. I and mean, we did sell most of the... Yeah, we actually did all of our bulk sales so far. Okay, the unemployment has gone down again. Let's have a look at the... So social rating is about 50%, domestic rural rating is now 26%, so if there was an election now, we'd probably be able to win it, more or less. We've still got 18 million, it's already 23 days away. Okay, so we might almost complete it. I'm pretty sure that we will not complete the factory entirely. And at the same time, if we scrap more of these uh, mid size, we'll scrap one more. That should free up a little bit of population, all workers, and at the same time, since the production cost for our industrial goods is higher than the market price, we might want to just buy it from the market, really. Maybe we need to. Oh, and the production cost for consumer goods has actually dropped a tiny bit now, that's good. How's the electricity doing? We're still making a little bit of money out of there. And how is the domestic price? It's currently $18, which is pretty high. But not too bad, I reckon. But yeah, the fact that our unemployment is, oh wow, 29%, or 2.9% rather, not 29, is not really helping us right now. What is the unemployment rate is in Venezuela now? 2.9 as well. What about Ecuador? 3.1 and Peru has 2.8. Okay, so everyone is having quite of a lack of that right now. Oh, we actually lost some. Oh, we're negative in money. Oh, three days remaining. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a little while. Actually, it says four days on this screen here. Okay, but yeah, we'll accumulate it back to 10 million. We'll complete that building. We'll get rid of all the other medium ones. So it's gonna increase the total production a tiny bit. But when you focus on the big ones, uh, you'll have more spaces to build, essentially. And secondly, it's easier to keep uh, 
the supplies are for all the factories. They're the big ones that are concentrated in like industrial centers here, like around our capital. Then there's another one over there, basically, and a little bit over here, and all that sort of stuff. So how is the food production? I know that we don't produce quite enough, but uh, are we still... we are going to be buying as required for quite a while. Rubber price... I'm going to increase the buy as needed limit even further because there's... Well, there's not a massive demand for it right now. I mean, it's mostly going to be used for consumer goods, at least for us. There is still a little bit of demand. Now, of course, we cannot make any synthetic rubber quite yet. I mean, it's only 1915 anyway. Okay, we got the money. Let's complete the building, shall we? And it says that it's consuming mostly metal ore, but there are actually other things that it takes uh, for the production there. So that's uh, not something that you necessarily want to trust, but it gives you at least a bit of idea of what sort of resource they're going to require. There we go. That's now completed. So how is the production? We got 80 in production now. Actually, we'll lower the amount of uh, these that we'll be selling anyway to around 50%. Of the extra, so there's going to be a little bit of accumulation there. Oh wow, the production price has gone even higher and higher. Alright then, um, I will get rid of the mid ones now completely. That's going to mean that we'll have a tiny bit of lack of production there, but that should be alright because the market price is still... It's actually growing a tiny bit there now. But it's not a massive difference. Now we get a huge stockpile from getting rid of the old factory, well I wouldn't say old factories, it's a smaller factory. I mean technically they are old. Okay, we're getting the artillery guns right now because we had the lack of money so it switched around to the research that takes the shortest amount of time. That is actually something that we could speed up a little bit. Let's go for half a million in spending. I'm still getting a decent bit of money though, so how about... We go ahead and buy another tech from here. Plot transfusions. 32 million. Okay, we're going to have to wait for a couple of days. But we should be able to get that. Wait one more day and then I'm going to send this offer. There we go. So the healthcare rating is going to go up. That means that our... Uh, the births should go up a little bit. If we increase the literacy or the education too much, then the births are going to go down because of that. To a certain degree. Literacy is currently 80%, so it's not too bad. It should go up to about maybe 85% with this current funding of uh, education. Right, so the artillery guns is going to be done in about two months. That's not too bad. The synchronous power grid, on the other hand, is still rather expensive. And that's something that we need to research out on our own. Right, so how terrible is our unemployment? 3.2%. Okay, well, hopefully we'll get a bit more population in and it will get slightly better. At least somewhere down the line. Now then. Consumer goods, we are making a decent bit of money there. If we have a look at the sales total, consumer goods is the biggest uh, portion of that so far. Industrial goods, oh, the market price is actually slowly catching up. Not that we have any extra production right now. We'll probably get a third uh, factory at some point. But we may need to wait quite a while for that. Actually, one thing that I should probably do is, do we have a, we got a consumer factory there. We got some coal power plants here. Actually reminds me, we should probably get rid of some of the smaller ones. Get rid of another two. Go down to 12 actually of those. I know that we have a lot of uh, hydro power plants. And we got some bigger power plants, or coal power plants. And those coal power plants we're going to keep up for the time being. But that's going to lower the cost of uh, production a tiny bit. Of course, it means a bit less sales from electricity, which we actually do make at least a little bit of money out of, but... It should also free up some population or workforce for other constructions. Okay, so artillery guns are still 39 days away. But I could... Well, I already got rid of those. I could turn down... 
or offline these two. Because that area is not particularly good supply. So it's uh, going to free up some of this. Actually, is there still... How many mines do I have? I have another five online. I'm not entirely sure where the other... Oh, there's one over here. Turn that... Oh, actually two over there. I'm going to turn those offline as well. Okay, Belgium and Netherlands have formed an alliance. All right then. Now, how's the unemployment now? 3.3%, so it is slightly improved. I think I'll wait until 3.5% though before I build anything extra in terms of industry. Because otherwise it may be a bit problematic. Oh, industrial good price has gone up now, so there is a lot more demand. I'm pretty sure that there's no wars yet, but there might be some extra demand. Actually, who is buying the most? USA is buying a lot. I'm not entirely sure what they are using on. Actually, can we... Consumption, does it... No, it just says that how much they require. Okay. So Germany, it's mostly the bigger nations that are importing a lot of industrial goods right now. And that's driving the price up. Although the production price has gone up a little bit. Is that because of, I don't know, fuel price? Yeah, the fuel price has gone up. The rubber price is still going up a little bit. Metal price has gone up a tiny bit, but it's still not enough for us to actually keep on selling. I'm going to get rid of two more small coal power plants. Eventually we'll replace them with the bigger ones, because the in terms of the power plants, the small ones produce half of the output as the proper ones. Now we do have some money, we should be able to buy another tech from United States. Let's actually have a look. Science, uh, plastics, oh yes. Let's actually have a look. What does it do? Research efficiency goes up, good. And it's a requirement for a lot of other techs, so we'll do that. That's going to free up some room there at least. Okay, I'm one week away from getting this tech. Good. And we are still selling quite a bit of consumer... Oh, right, actually. One thing that I could do... I know that we don't have a massive extra set of um, workers yet, but I'm going to set up a supply depot. Actually, I'm... I'm going to set it at the capital, because the capital does usually have a bit better supply base. Okay, so we got the artillery guns. Not that we'll be researching any of that yet. How much are we spending? One and a half million. I'm going to lower that to 1.2 million. In the research there. Uh, seems to be still too much. Lower it to one million then. Or just under one million. What on clothing? I suppose I could... Put in the industrial shipbuilding down there as the next one. Are we still losing? We are still losing money. Well, damn, that's not good. Is the daily expenses? I mean, the treasury is quite a bit. Research is a little bit, but it's not too big, I don't think. On the other hand, maybe it is. I'm going to lower that to seven hundred and seventy thousand. Okay, so we're still losing money, but not too much. I think we're going to manage with this for a little while, at least. I could always increase the taxes, but I'm not entirely sure that that's the best idea. You know what, I'm going to increase... Well, it's already 80% extra price. I don't want to increase that too much. How's the fuel doing? It's not too bad. On the other hand, we do have a lot of capacity there that we could... If we, say, lower this, that's going to increase the domestic approval rating. And it's going to increase the consumption of oil. That's not too bad, but with the extra that we are producing, that's also going to mean that we'll have a bit... Actually, now that the price over there has increased, we can actually just go full capacity. We can start selling more oil. And that means that actually I'm going to increase that price to about $6. So that's going to give us a bit extra income. Not sure if it's going to be enough, to be fair, because it's also going to increase our production costs total. But, okay, petroleum is 200,000. We consume a good, that's half a million per day for income from trade, and then there's a little bit extra from others. Not massive amount though, but I suppose, now I'm going to have to lower this back to half a million. Otherwise, we're going to be losing too much money. Okay, now we are at least accumulating it. 
Still going to take over two years to research this. My goodness. How's the unemployment doing right now? 3%. Uh, it's a bit low. Of course, we are building the supply depot, which is actually costing us probably quite a bit. Once we get that constructed, it's going to increase the production rate over here. Including the ore mines over there, actually. You know what, let me put another one of these offline for the time being. We don't need a massive uh, capacity or extra capacity here. Still 3%. The GDP per capita is now 188. So it's slowly or growing there, but yeah. I'm Actually, how low are we in terms of that? Uh, it's not... Hold on a minute. Ranking 43 of the world ranking, okay, and yeah, we've got pretty high tax rate, we do want to lower that in due time. Still have labour shortages because of the 3% limit there. It's actually 2.9% right now. I mean, the supply depot is going to take a bit of workers, and then with the extra supplies here, these are going to take extra workers as well. So, for a while, we are going to have a problem. On the other hand, is there anything else that we could get rid of? I suppose we could get rid of the small coal power plants again. Get rid of another four. I don't want to go too low in terms of the production there. But I do want to lower it a tiny bit there. Eventually we do want to start building the proper coal power plants. Because we there is a lot of room for import or building more... Um, Hydropower plants over here, but the hydropower plants are very expensive. So you do want to be a bit careful with that. Okay, so we've got the supply depot. Let's have a look. How is that affecting our income quite massively? Okay, so now we can increase the resource funding back to at least uh, 770,000. We can actually go for a full million, so that is going to speed up the research. Still going to take more than a year, but that is certainly an improvement. Right, so when was the election? That was in end of... Um, October 16, 1917. Not too bad. We don't have a massive treasury right now, but we're at least accumulating a little bit. Labour shortage still 2.9% there. That's not good. I suppose, is there any... Let's have a look. Is Germany having... No, you've got 2.7%. You say probably has something similar. 2.4%. What about Costa Rica? You are about to have elections. You know what? How much would you want from the free flow of labor force? Probably another million. Yep, another million. I can afford paying that. So, how much are we getting immigration now? Not a lot. There's a lot of emigration actually. Population is still growing, just not a lot, to be fair. And I suppose uh, the free, a free flow of labor might be hurting us, actually, a little bit here. But, you know, I just want to keep good relations with my neighbors. So you know what? Get that over there. They accept it right away. 2.9% unemployment. The inflation is pretty high. How much... GDP per capita does Venezuela have? It's double to us, okay. How about we get the free trade then? That might help a little bit. Right, we got 195 so far. Just behind the world average there. Okay, so how bad is the unemployment still? 2.9% so we won't be able to build anything in particular. One thing that I suppose we could do though, is we could start building some of the railway down here. Though first things first, I think we're going to want to get some more research from the United States. They don't actually like us as much anymore, but modern clothing? Ooh, that's actually a bit expensive. That is going to increase the consumer goods production. By 1%, so it's not going to be a massive increase, but it's still an increase. Vacuum tubes on the other... Ooh, that would be handy. Resource efficiency goes up. 
Wireless transmissions wouldn't be bad either, but vacuum tubes it required for the industrialization. So we might want to get that. But unfortunately we seem to be out of time for this episode, so if you enjoyed this, uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.